Oh, hey there, global citizens. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just looking at some of my photos from the Global Citizen Festival. You guys remember when Beyonce and Ed Sheeran played Drunk in Love together? Such a good duet. Anyway, I honestly cannot believe it's already been about a month since the festival. Before all the memories fade any further, I feel like this is a good time to recap what the festival actually accomplished, aside from the awesome Beyonce Ed Sheeran duet. You wanna know how many people around the world could benefit from all the incredible commitments world leaders made on stage? 92 million. I swear I'm not making that number up. Someone actually went through and tallied up all the commitments. Let's break it down a bit in this edition of By the Numbers. 92 million, what all went into that? Here are some of the major commitments. Number one, the World Bank committed to lifting an additional 20 million people out of poverty in the next 12 months. That's on top of the 80 million people already projected to leave extreme poverty in that same time period. All right, 20 million in 12 months. That comes in at around 1.7 million a month. That's roughly one and a half Dublin's worth of poverty eliminated per month. Commitment number two, Sweden pledged to improve sanitation for 60 million people in the next 15 years. That may not seem like a big number when you consider the fact that 2.4 billion people lack access to good sanitation worldwide, but hey, 60 million is about six times the population of Sweden, so I'd say the Swedes are pulling their weight and then some. Plus, Norway chipped in another 6 million towards water and sanitation projects. Next commitment, the UK will help get 6.5 million additional girls into school over the next five years. Okay, so around 60 million girls are currently out of school. That means the UK is working to close the education gap by over 10%. At this rate, we just need nine more developed countries to follow Britain's lead and we're good. Moving right along, Colombia pledged to reduce its maternal mortality rate in rural areas, which could affect 2.3 million lives. Nicely done, Colombia. You're set to affect a group of people the size of Paris. Last but not least, Luxembourg is supporting polio eradication efforts that will help 1.1 million children. You're probably thinking, come on, Luxembourg, that's half as many people as Colombia's pledge affects. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but Luxembourg is tiny. 1.1 million people is twice the population of Luxembourg. Okay, so that's a broad strokes breakdown of the commitments. Here's one more number for you. Two million. That's how many actions global citizens everywhere took in the lead up to the festival. Okay, let's see. 92 million divided by two million is, is like a 50, it's about 50. So in a sense, each and every action taken wound up with the potential to affect 50 people. Think about that. Did you tweet about girls' education? You helped 50 people. Sign a petition to end world hunger? That's another 50 people. Call a US senator in support of food aid? You get the idea. Okay, so it doesn't exactly work like that. But look, 92 million lives affected is a pretty big chunk of impact. That's a number every single one of you who took action in support of this year's festival should be really, really proud of. But remember, the impact doesn't stop when the festival ends. Globalcitizen.org is the place to take action year round in support of important issues. So if you haven't already, sign up to Global Citizen and start taking action. I can't wait to see how much impact your actions will have next. Thanks for watching everyone.